So mm -hmm. there's no way that dude wrote that on accident. No, no, I, uh, for sure. <laughs> but into that. I mean, Vinland yeah. Saga is very, I mean, it tries to keep very anime, but does. Go ahead, tell me it's not political. No, it's extremely <laughs> political. It's super political. Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay, so when you say it's political, do you think there is a, do you think it's just exploring political ideas or do you think there's a, are you saying that there's an agenda that he's trying to like portray in this story? I don't think it's nefarious. I think that people have worldviews yeah. that mm -hmm. they inevitably bake into their art. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think like his worldview from what you've told me, especially like he's like a pacifist humanitarian. Yeah, kind of yeah. Guy. I mean, um, he, uh, I mean, for once, I actually have a source because I talked to the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did not. I am not making this a fuck up. Yeah. But no, he uh, he said the reason he wanted to make Vinland Saga is that he wanted. He thought it one. He thought it was an interesting interesting idea for a story mm. to Agreed. have a story about violence and promoting how you know bad war and violence is, mm. uh, and setting that in the Viking era. Why did he make it so cool? Um, <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Is it that the, it, season one is so badass, yeah, yeah, so yeah, and yeah. then season two feels like such a departure. Yeah, yeah. In a sense of like, when is that gonna happen? Yeah. Yes. Every time I see that log throwing guy, what's the big one? Uh, Thor Kel. Thor Kel. Yeah. Every time oh, I see him, chat. I'm like, oh, thank God. All right, yeah. let's get, get let's get some violence in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah and, and like he was, he he told me that he was very very worried going into like part two, uh, because t in order to establish the you know, this message, he needed to establish a world where it was violence was glorified. And then what he wanted to do was establish his world of glorified violence and kind of break down why, you know, why that's bad and why mm. we should see another angle to that. And right. uh, one of his biggest worries is that he did a bit of, a bit too good of a job with that because yeah. everyone, uh, because everyone really, really loved the first part. Yeah. The message and definitely went over a lot of people's heads. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought the message was like, violence is sick. <laughs> that's what I thought. I thought the message Vikings was violence badass. is okay if you're Welsh. That's yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. As long as you're a Viking, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you love that. It's like the best Welsh representation yeah. ever. It's the only representation we got in life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So sick. You know, you know what he called. You know what he called Askeladd. He said cute, right? He said cute. Yeah, he, he said uh, he said he said Askeladd was my favorite character, even though it was like very hard for him to pick. Yeah. And I was like, oh, why'd you like Askeladd? And he was like, oh. Kawaii. <laughs> and I was like, what? I mean, he what? is cute. He is a cute <laughs> motherfucker. He is. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like I, I asked him, where did you get your inspiration for your story? Are you trying to say anything? You know, are you trying mm. to? How did you get the ideas for what you wanted to portray in this mm. story? Um, and he basically just said, I just, I sometimes I just have thoughts and ideas and emotions that I want to convey through the story. And I find mm. the best way uh, with characters and with the world to basically convey my thoughts and emotions. And so I don't know how deeply he thinks into the political ideas, but I think at the core, he has these emotions um, that he wants to put on the page. And so yeah. And yeah. Oh, yeah. finds the best way to get the moving parts to like portray that. I don't even think he's like ideologically Marxist or anything like that. I just, uh, I think it's like very human to recognize that injustice. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it totally still makes sense. But I mean, yeah. it's at the heart of that kind mm -hmm. of politics. Right, yeah. yeah, I think, I think talking to him, he is a very human, like at a core, he tries to tell very human stories and he tries to put that in everything he does. Well, I would argue that's what makes some of the best stories in manga and anime, right? Mm -hmm. It's like when you're trying to show that like very human side of like, you know, through emotions and, you know, uh, physical violence and stuff like that. It's yeah. like, oh, okay. It's not just like a bunch of people killing each other. There's like yeah. some message there. And, you know, depending on who you ask, you know, they get the message more than others. Obviously Hassan has like fucking nailed it. <laughs> but, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like, I think it's, I think some of the best authors, uh, especially in the manga world, are able to kind of, you know, try and show both sides of it where it's like, you can think of it as shallowly as possible or as deeply as possible yeah. and it's still just as enjoyable. That's why I want more historical manga and anime. I feel mm. like- It's hard though. Because I know it's hard, but it's so cool when they do it. The amount of research that he has to go through oh, just to write like yeah. a single chapter is fucking insane. Yeah. Like he, has, he has to do so much research because what, what, uh, how, how many, how many, how much Viking media did we get here in Japan? Like, like nothing. Like that's nothing. What's, that's what's fascinating about it because it's like such a unique time period. Uh, like Dane Law and the invasion of like England mm. is is so cool. And there's a lot of content in the Western world. Yeah, but it it pairs very nicely with like the Last Kingdom and mm -hmm. and other kinds of like Western live action 
like docu dramas, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like fictionalized depictions yeah. of what happened. So it, it works really well with that. Yeah, and I think I think what's most impressive is that he's done his research and he's taken like real historical accounts, like yeah. you know Thor, Thorkell, um, Thorfinn. They were all like real. Actually, I don't know if Thor's was a real character, but Thor, uh, Thorfinn was definitely a real person in history, mm, right? Yeah. And so you he takes these accounts of real things that happened in histories, uh, and he's kind of like filled in the blanks with his own imagination. Well, even his even Thorfinn's granddad, or I guess. Is, technically, is that his grandfather? Like the guy who went to oh, Leif the Erickson? West? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's real like, person. Yeah, real yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. The first person who like actually found well found yeah. America. Yeah, the, the mm. continent. Didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Un un person. Uncredited. <laughs> yeah, uncredited. <laughs> oh, I was just yeah. watching the anime and loving every second. Of it. <laughs> yeah. I was like damn. Yeah.